Welcome back to the charts. Yes, it's been a while, and yeah, we all have our obligations. Might took a few months, and are continuing. Family, kids, the new kids, and so on. But it's not a reason not to look at the charts of XRP, your favorite coin, and frankly, one of my biggest holdings. So, today we will look at XRP on a three-day chart, because you want it, and frankly, I want it. So what's going on with XRP that is currently standing at 59 cents? This is through the chat, as I already said. I will show you three ways why I think that eventually this will go super bullish. First of all, what are you seeing here? One, well, let's say kind of a consolidation of the price. First, we will draw the line from this point until this point. Yeah, we can work it out a little so that we can get this high, but something like this. We can all agree that this is a fairly normal downtrend. Resistance, 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 blah, blah, blah. We still didn't break it. But when we do, you will see fireworks. What I like about this resistance line is that we are hugging it for a few, well, months now. This is July, August. This is now September. We could be nearing the breakout of this line. Now, what will happen when you see the breakout of this line? Fireworks will happen. Let me show you one more important clue, much more important than only this resistance line. For that, we will use parallel channel. Mark it like this and just pull it down. Well, let's say on something like this. Excellent. What are you seeing now? Support, support, support. So, yeah, we can obviously work it a little up or down, but this is the essence of it. Ladies and gentlemen, XRP is since, I don't know, one year ago moving inside of this down sloping channel and just lives inside of it. Frankly, it's killing you slowly. Me with you again. So we are moving inside of this channel when we break it to be fireworks. Now, although it seems counterintuitive, but downsloping channels are bullish patterns that eventually break its pattern. This is the resistance line that we are waiting for the breakout. So let me mark it for you as the one big ass resistance line, or let's consider it an area that will give us all of our hopes and dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing is the resistance line that could be broken much sooner than we think. As I said, on this point, we had resistance, clear cut, clear cut here, not so clear. It seems like the price wanna keep pumping into it, crashing into it until it's broken. Well, when it gets broken, my presumption, by the end of this year, you will see much more that you can handle trust me much more than you can handle so what is this pattern showing us that you need to have patience as i said this move is coming all the way from this pump from 2023 i think this is the pump when sec lost its files or something like that thing i'm not into fundamentals so don't get me on that I'm mean, into technicals. I love the charts. And you love the charts, otherwise you wouldn't be watching it. Otherwise you wouldn't be still here in this minute, and this hour, and this day, and this year, and this blah, blah, blah. Listen, we are moving to the downside. Eventually we will break this. Now let me show you what's happening in the next step. Now we absorb all of this. Now let's zoom in a little bit more. This is enough and see what is happening in the coming days. After this pump that happened in July this year, we are consolidating and the price volume is telling you exactly that. At this moment, we are below the average volume. This is not something extraordinary. And this kind of price action is, let's say it's signaling us consolidation inside of the pattern. Let's try to see the pattern. We can agree, well, let's hope that we can agree, 
that this is something that could be happening resistance 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 but can you see how many times are we touching it it's crazy if we do that on the downside i don't know something like this that i like using those bodies more than candles i mean more than wicks of the candles we're getting formation that is looking kind of like a pennant could this be a bullish pennant yes it could we have a pole and we have a pennant but i presume that there are some experts on pennants that are more in expertise than me and will tell you something else never mind this is the story pump consolidation inside of this formation and kindly we are squeezing the price you can see big rebound small rebound can you expect the third well frankly you could what is signaling that we could see a third third thing and that will be the moving averages but first of all this volume still nothing extraordinary by that token can we see something like this yes we could and you are a big boy you can handle it i mean this would be let's say the dream scenario that you will be watching for years to come if it's like this i hope it is let's say in the october last month i mean this month that is after we will break this structure and ladies and gentlemen yes i have bad english sometimes but i don't have a bad ta this is clear cut ta that is showing us that move to the upside could be coming very soon why i think that this consolidation could be happening for a few more days or well if you are a bull pardon me if we break this trend line in the next couple of days next weeks who knows it's possible it's end of the september but i presume it will be october now let me remove this and tell you that last piece of the puzzle that could be happening in the coming days this is my band of 21 moving averages exponential is yellow the blue is moving average simple as it can be now when the yellow is above the blue we have momentum and as you can see at this moment simple moving average is above the exponential one that is let's say interpretation that we don't have vigor at the moment that needed momentum to break the trend line that's why i said this is the third piece of the puzzle that we could be consolidating so why don't you just have some patience if we do this and then this well since you waited i don't know how many years now you will be able to weigh this one ladies and gentlemen my presumption and let's say final conclusion is that xrp is setting itself up for the big move that we're all been waiting for if you can't handle it then go away because I don't think that some ultra bears will win in this game for xrp because so long i don't know how long since the bull market of 2017 so 18 19 20 22 21 i don't know how to count 22 23 24 what is this seventh year oh my god it could be eight years yes but eventually this will break to the upside and this chart candles that green line is showing you what i expect of xrp now can we have some deeper pullbacks and make something else of it yeah it's possible you never know how those markets will react maybe we extend this move and continue making let's say a bull flag but all in all my assumption of all of this that i just blabbered is not nothing bearish forecast in the coming days weeks maybe some consolidation but then after that the thing you'll be waiting for that said i hope you enjoyed it and if you didn't well just press that stop button